to be doing an all-natural look today. Let's get started. So we're going to first get started with some moisturizer for your face. Uh, you always want to stay hydrated. I have really dry skin. So whenever I don't do this, I literally start peeling. Uh, the one I'll be using is the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. Next, I'll be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Dark Spot Correcting Primer. That is a whole mouthful over there. Uh, but I do like this one a lot just because the texture is very similar to the original Smashbox primer. Uh, but it does have the added dark spot correcting benefit to it, so I do like it because of that. I'm also going to follow up with that with the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I do really like this one as well just because it is very moisturizing that I've noticed. It actually helps me a lot as far as the creasing under my eyes and then also the dryness. I always get really dry under my eyes after I put on my concealer. Um, it almost looks like it's peeling sometimes, so this really does help a lot. So for me, this is kind of my lazy go-to everyday work look. Uh, so I don't really like to use a heavy foundation whenever I do this. I do like to use the MAC Face and Body Foundation. This by no means has uh, like any coverage at all. It really just kind of evens out my skin tone, which is kind of what I'm looking for because I don't really like to have my face packed on when I'm going to work. I'm then going to go ahead and just blend this out with my beauty blender and just slightly kind of pat it all over and give it some coverage as far as um, evening out my skin tone. Now keep in mind you're more than welcome to use a full coverage foundation if you like. So feel free to do the same thing but just a full coverage foundation. It would work exactly the same. Like I said, the foundation has close to no coverage, so I do go back in with the Boing Benefit Concealer. I do just kind of tap this on my under eye area and also any acne scars that I currently do have. And then I just use my handy dandy beauty blender to just kind of pat that all in and blend that in better with my foundation. Next, I'll be using my favorite product lately, which is the NARS Sculpting Multiple Duo Contour Highlight Stick. Uh, I have the color in Playa Flamenco and Ohu. I love doing this with one line right under my cheekbone and then two dots right under that. Uh, the next one, I'm going to draw a line from the corner of my eyes and then up towards the back of my head. And then I do two lines on my forehead on the side. I don't do the whole three anymore like I used to just because I find this shape works best for me. I honestly believe different shapes work for different people, so I do recommend trying it out. And then I just go ahead and use my beauty blender again and just kind of tap that in to kind of blend those lines out. Uh, the Beauty Blender does a pretty good job. Just be careful not to rub too hard so you don't lose that contour shape. So even though I said that this is a quick and easy makeup look, I do still kind of bake under my eyes and also under my contour line. I use the Bun Nye Banana Powder, uh, but mainly I actually kind of plop the powder on there and then I'll go ahead and do my eyes. Or sometimes what I do is I'll just plop the powder there and then I'm going to go downstairs to feed my dog and feed my cat. 
and then once I come back it'll be fully baked and then I just finish up the rest of the look but this is completely optional for you so if you don't want to do this you're more than welcome to leave this step out I just think it really kind of gives that extra oomph for your highlight Next, moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using the MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. I'm actually going to fill this all the way from my lids all the way up to my brow bone. So when I said that this is an easy makeup look, I completely meant it. We're not using any eyeshadow here. We're actually going to go ahead and just use our bronzer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this in my crease, focusing more on the outer corner and then bring it in towards the middle. Wherever you want the darker area to be, you would... Uh, be able to kind of start there and then move outwards. I always like the darker side to be on the outer corners So I always start on the outer corner and then move it towards the inner middle side Next I'm gonna go ahead and use a smaller brush and bring that to the bottom line uh, If this one is a little bit messy, that's perfectly fine I uh, usually it's nothing really noticeable even when I do mess it up just because the color is not super dark or anything like that um, but it's completely up to you I actually like it a little bit messier next I'm going to use a big fluffy brush just to kind of fluff up all the lines and buff it all out so that way I don't have any harsh lines for my brows I'll be using the Anastasia dip brow pomade in the color Auburn um, I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up just because it is completely out of focus. Believe it or not, I'm actually doing this whole tutorial without a mirror. So you will see certain parts where I have a handheld mirror. But for the most of it, I actually did it looking at the lens of my camera and looking at the reflection on that instead. So I'm just going to speed this part up and if you guys would like me to do a eyebrow filling video, please feel free to comment below and let me know and I'll definitely make a video for you guys on that. So for some reason I have so many brown eyeliners but I just cannot find one that I really like. Uh, so actually what I do every day is I actually use my dip brow pomade and get a eyeliner brush and use that as a eyeliner instead. Um, as I said, you know, anything that is requiring me to really pay attention to, I'm actually using a handheld mirror and then I lean my head forward and then everything is completely out of focus. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed this part up for you guys as well. Uh, the brush that I'm using is actually a silicone brush. Uh, I actually really like this brush a lot. So I might do a review on this for you guys later. But I do like it a lot just because I do have... Uh, eyelash extensions and when you have eyelash extensions it's very hard to use certain brushes just because your extensions kind of get in the way of doing your makeup ding 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 looks like it's time to go ahead and brush off all that loose powder uh, away from my under eyes uh, the baking is completed and as you can see it gives you a very nice clean finish um, I love it a lot, so that's why I kind of do it every day, but like I said, it's completely optional for you guys if you like to do it or not, but my recommendation is I would recommend that you do try it. Um, you can always do it and then, you know, find some other chores to do while you're waiting for it to bake. 
So I do like to go back in with a bronzer with a little bit of a light dusting around my face just to kind of give myself a little bit more color. I do go in a very light shade of like a three shape. So I go under my cheekbones, under my chin, and a little bit over my forehead as well on both sides. This just kind of gives yourself a little bit of that sun-kissed glow back. Next, I'm going to use my highlighter by MAC. It's the Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I love this color because it is not too strong, but it just gives you a little bit of that glow. I'm using a fan brush, so you know you really want to be careful. Don't use anything too heavy-handed. You don't want to look like you're oily or anything. You just want to have a little bit of that glow. Last, I'm going to use my blush. Uh, the blush that I'm using is Oasis by NARS. With this one, I'm going to use my angled brush and just lightly put it right above my contour and a little bit below my highlight. I would recommend, you know, do not go past where the outer corner of your eyes are. Um, that way it kind of just pulls your um, cheeks upwards and kind of gives your whole face a little bit of a lift. finish off the eyes I'm just gonna go ahead and put some mascara to my lower lashes the mascara I'm using is the Dior Extase one of my favorite mascaras uh, just be careful when you are doing your lower lashes um, do not press too hard and get some on your skin usually I'll just give it some time to air dry so I don't get it on anything lastly I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the look with a lipstick by Marc Jacobs in the color Role Play. And that completes the look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helps out anybody else that is just as lazy as me in the morning. If you have any requests, please feel free to put that in the comment box below. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.